Retired Trenton homicide detective Gary Britton and I are still on the trail of the Eastbound Strangler, Atlantic City serial killer who left four prostitutes murdered in a ditch outside a motel in 2006. This is building on an investigation that Gary himself began seven years ago. We've told you before about Dennis Gaskell, a person of interest in our serial killer investigation, who killed himself in jail in 2010, but left behind bizarre, overtly sexual, multicolored drawings that Gary has seen during his previous investigation. In our attempt to find out whether or not Gasco could be the Strangler, we spoke to one of the top criminal profilers in the country, John Kelly, who wrote a profile of the Eastbound Strangler and speculated that this person might be a foot fetishist because the four prostitutes buried in the ditch had their feet elevated when they were buried facing east. Last week, we got a hell of a tip. A concerned citizen contacted Kelly and said he had found a bag with multicolored drawings and women's shoes. You think we can hook up so I can talk to you a little bit about that? So we headed down to Galloway to check out this tip and we met our contact at a local Starbucks. He was willing to help us, but he did not want to go on camera. So we asked him first and foremost, how did you find this stuff? Are you guys familiar with like astral projection and getting what? signs and... I've heard of it, but I forget what it means. Astral projection is when you leave your body while dreaming. After a long story about following black keys because they were some sort of sign, our source told us that he had meandered his way to an isolated area of woods off a road in Egg Harbor Township. Inside half-buried tires, he had found bags stuffed in the walls of those tires, and he made the chilling discovery drawings, sex toys, a huge cache of porn and lewd photos, and one pair of women's shoes. He agreed to let us examine the evidence. It's very random. We were looking for any clue that could connect or rule out Gaskell, and Gary saw one right away. Most LWNS. He's like talking to this quote. Well, sounds like it. On the drawings Gaskell had made that Gary had previously seen, Gaskell would abbreviate words describing what he was doing in the pictures that he drew by hand. Now our source had said he misplaced the drawings so we couldn't see them right away, and we pressed on looking through the pile in the garage and stuff just got weirder. Someone's shirt. Like blood in there? Hey, it could be anything. Why would you have something like that? Why would you say that? To cover what you have. That's the only reason that is, covering what you have. Who would do that? Somebody who's conflicted in who they are. And the shoes, pink, size 11, with heels that lit up. This is someone who is probably pretty tall and or large. And or a man wearing women's shoes. Our source had somehow misplaced the drawings, the key piece of evidence. So while he looked for them, Gary and I went to the area in Egg Harbor, right off Fire Road, where these tires were and all this evidence was found. We looked in the tires themselves and they were still full of strange things. We walked behind the cemetery that backs up to where this stuff was found and we saw some railroad tracks with a path next to them. It started to look familiar. Gary and I got into the car and when the road ended, we took a couple of turns, we drove less than four miles and where were we? We were at the Golden Key Motel, the site of where the women were found in 2006 where the eastbound strangler had dumped his victims. And then Gary got a call. It was our contact. He had found the drawings. Now tomorrow on our show, you're gonna see these drawings. We're gonna take a look at them and you're gonna see what could be the mark of a serial killer along with this map. Could this map be the key to unraveling the mystery of the eastbound strength?